bankrupt and the liquidator is due to sell his entire record collection at an auction next week. Well, Sky's Kirsty Brown is at the sale in West London. And Kirsty, for those of us with hundreds of treasured LPs in our attics, there'll be a lot of sympathy for Mike Reed. It's a very personal thing to part with, isn't it? Well, that's absolutely right. We're here. It is a room effectively full of cardboard boxes, 320 boxes in total. They estimate about 77,000 items. Lots of different things, records that could keep someone listening for as many as 300 years. One of the big ticket items is this jukebox. It was Mike Reed's very own jukebox, expected to go for some considerable amount of money. Joining me now is valuer Robert David. Robert, tell me, I mean, what sort of thing does this jukebox mean to people? Well, I mean, it means uh, uh, an awful lot. I mean, it's not just uh, a jukebox, it's uh, a Rockola, uh, Temp One. Um, it's the, the, the cream of the jukebox makes. Um, and also it belongs to the man who made the music of the, the, the early or late 70s and early 80s. So um, it will go for quite a, quite a bit of money for, for what it's worth and what it stands for. And tell me, it's not just a jukebox, obviously. There's some very important records going on sale here. Yeah, the, I mean, the, um, the, the vinyl, the acetate. I mean, just here is uh, the jam going underground. Um, it's the acetate of it, still marked with an A on both sides because they hadn't decided at, uh, at that point which was going to be the hit, whether it was going to be going underground or Dreams of Children. Obviously, as uh, history told, it was, uh, it was going underground. So whereas many late 60s punk and psych um, vinyl, uh, Beatles promos. I mean, the fantastic thing about this collection is most record collections um, are populated by, by genre. So you've got uh, a record collection that's full of soul or full of, uh, full of beat or full of psych or punk. Um, with this, it's populated um, with every genre going. Um, and also there's many items that only someone in Mike Reed's position uh, at the time would have, would have been privy to. Um, so, I mean, it cannot be underestimated that it's the defining collection on the market at the moment. I mean, there's even items like some of the clothing he wore. Tell me about this jacket here. This is uh, uh, when he used to do the road shows, um, early 80s Radio 1 road shows, actually personally monikered for Mike Reed, uh, as well as many, many other stage jackets uh, worn, uh, worn throughout him uh, on his time on TV. Well, it's not just the personal items like jackets. There's also items that Mike was intently involved in himself. Auctioneers have asked him to get in touch with them, to give them a bit of background and a bit of history to the items. They say that would, in fact, mean that they may raise more money. This here is so-called chalk art. Mike did this with his very own hand, evidently done fairly recently. This is his impression of the X Factor. You'll see the judges there and presumably the contestant. Obviously, it's entirely unknown as to how much all of this will get. It all is available for people to look at from tomorrow and goes on sale on Sunday. Kirsty, a true slice of musical history there. Thanks very much.